Hey ihr Lieben, it's Yesh here, yeshoboyton.com. I'm a German based here in America. And in this video, I'm going to give you five reasons why I believe we have to pray now. Now at the end of the video, I have an extra reason, a bonus reason, so to speak, that I believe is really encouraging. So stay tuned and watch the video all the way to the end. Now reason number one, is the pandemic and everything that's going on in the world right now. Now this reason is very obvious, but I believe is a very important reason why we have to connect with God right now. It's a very serious sickness that's going around. I'm not so sure if we are supposed to fear it as the media is making it sound like, but I believe it's definitely a serious sickness that we need to be ready for in the spirit. There are a lot of people that stay home alone, that feel lonely, that get depressed, that have all kind of bad things happening to them in this season. And hey, this is such a good opportunity for us to be salt and light to this world, right? And obviously, it's also a very good opportunity for us to pray for healing and deliverance. Now, reason number two is connected to reason number one, which is the thing that they are developing right now and are getting ready to release right now to get rid of this whole worldwide stuff going on. I'm on purpose not using those special terms because I don't want to get this video flagged or taken down or whatever. I think you know what I'm talking about. The reason why I mention this as a reason to pray is that you need wisdom. I'm not telling you if you're supposed to take it or not. I've heard certain things about it and I really encourage you to pray and to seek wisdom, God's wisdom. I can't give you a medical advice, obviously, I'm not a doctor, but I can tell you to pray that you need to seek God about this thing that they're going to release. I hope and pray that they're not going to make it mandatory here in America. I'm not so sure if they're going to in Europe. It looks like they're going to, at least in Germany, from what I hear. I'm not so sure about it. But hey, we need to be prayed up for whatever what's coming in this area, right? Reason number three is truth isn't truth anymore. You can see this, especially here in America, where the people just go nuts about nothing. You look in the media, you look in into what the crowds are chanting and what they're marching for, and it's like you try to reason, but it's almost not going through and getting through anymore. And that is because truth isn't valued anymore as truth. It's more like, okay, well, that is your truth, but my truth is and so on, right? And that's why good becomes evil and evil becomes good. Everyone does what is right in their own mind. So guys, if this is not a reason to pray and be prayed up and ready, then I don't know. You need to know the truth that sets you free when there's only one truth and that is Jesus, who is the word of God. So you need to be prayed up. You need to be steady in the, in the word. You need to be ready to defend the word, defend the truth in season and out of season. That's what Paul says. And Paul wrote this to Timothy in a season where there was persecution and there was crazy stuff going on, similar to what we're going through right now and heading into. So be prayed up, be ready, be filled with the truth and be ready to share the truth, preach the truth in season and out of season. Now, reason number four is knowing your mission in this season. Now, we're living in a very interesting season, very interesting times, and I believe that we need to be steady and knowing what our calling is, what our gifts are, and what our mission is in this season. And that we only find out by praying, seeking God, asking God, reading His Word, spending time with Him, receiving from Him, right? We need that revelation. We need that impact out of the secret place to be able to, to minister and be salt and light into this world. Reason number five why I believe we have to pray is Jesus is coming back soon. Now, how soon? I don't know. But book of Revelation says that his bride is making herself ready. And the bride, that's us, right? The, the body of Christ. So we need to do some house cleaning and we need to get the stuff worked out that is not worked out yet. So I encourage you to spend time with God, 
to work the things out that need to be worked out. Make your ways straight with the Lord. If you need to repent, repent. This is not the time. This is certainly not the time to just jiggle around and play around and oh, maybe I'll dabble with this or dabble with that. Hmm, what hobby could I have now? Guys, this is the season of prayer, fasting, Bible reading, going forward with God, house cleaning, getting all this stuff out of the past out of your life, breaking the curses from your family line, getting the family blessings back into your family line, receiving from God, receiving empowerment and anointing from God. But we can only do that when we get all the garbage out, right? <laughs> A vessel that is dirty can be, you know, you fill water in, the living water in, it will be murky water. So you need to get all the sand, all the dirt out to have that living water flow impurity. Now here's my bonus reason why I believe we have to pray right now in this season. And that is there is an awesome move of God coming. There's revival coming. And I believe God is already starting to pour it out and move in a powerful way. I believe Holy Spirit is going to move in signs, wonders and miracles like never before, like we have never seen before. I believe that he's going to move in a way we probably can't even imagine or maybe not even in the way that we expect. I don't know. But I know there's a revival coming and you need to be ready. I need to be ready. We need to have all our ducks in the row, right? We need to be ready, prayed up, and be ready to say, Lord, here I am, use me. That kind of connects with the reason before, right? With house cleaning, getting ready. But hey, there's a revival coming. Receive his revival anointing. Receive his revival outpouring and his revival revelation. <laughs> Whatever God has for you. And hey, we're saying this. Let me pray for you real quick. Jesus, I thank you for the person watching this video. I pray that you would stir a hunger up for your presence, our hunger, Lord, for, for reading your word. Holy Spirit, I thank you for this revival anointing that you already have ready. I release it right now over the listener. In Jesus' name, anything blocking it, anything that tries to hinder it or steal it, steal the, the seeds, Lord, that you even have sown right now or have sown in this, in this season, all the things that try to steal those seeds in Jesus' name, I bind and break them right now. And they have to leave right now in Jesus' name. I thank you for a touch, Holy Spirit. I thank you for breakthrough right now. I thank you for revival. God, get us ready. Pull us into your presence and into your glory. God, I thank you and I praise you. We look unto you in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, whatever you do. Whatever happens, look unto Jesus. He is the firm rock of your salvation. He is where your help comes from. Keep your eyes on the prize, who is Jesus. Your problem, your obstacle is not able to help you. Keep your eyes on the prize. Hey, thank you so much for hanging out with me in this video, spending this time with me. If you want to receive more content about helping you go from life struggles to spiritual empowerment, you can subscribe to this channel or check my website out, yeshuaboyton.com, or you can sign up for my newsletter, yeshuaboyton.com slash newsletter. But in any ways, I thank you for your time and I'm going to see you in the next video. God bless you.